Okay guys, so round 30, and you can see that <coughs> not Professor Mongo dickheads just took my gun again, but exactly the same as the other round, so it's just a little bit tougher to kill this time. Um, just hunt him down, shoot him up, and he usually takes the same route if I'm being honest with you, so you should memorise it quite easily. Um, shoot him down, and get your gun back again. So, yeah, very easy. Then, Again, once that round 30 has begun, uh, I got stuck down here, I think, so I had to find a teleporter. I don't know why it says access denied. I think you have to wait until um, the round starts, but if you do get stuck like me, you just run through the teleporters and you'll be able to negotiate your, your way back down to the normal floors. But, and then the strategy starts all over again. Um, the only difference between round 31 and round 21 or round 15 or round 10 is that like I said, um, the waves of zombies are a little bit more, so instead of having like 500 zombies per round, this time you're going to actually have a few more, so it might be 2,000, I don't know, I'm completely not sure. But when I do find my way back to the place where I've got to be, you'll see what I'm on about, so, oops, not this time, again, you can just negotiate your way and just run through the teleporters, it's not hard, they're not ever going to be able to gang up on you quick enough. Just have a little walk through the teleport and you will eventually come out where you need to be, so come on, come on, come on, I'm getting bored now. Should have just fast forwarded it, to be honest with you. Ah, so back in the lab. Um, back in the labs and it's Again, straightforward, starting out of the stairs and just negotiate your way around. Um, like I said, it's not hard. Um, you won't ever really run out of bullets because um, the Naughty Professor guy tends to uh, pop up every three rounds, that's what I've noticed, or four rounds, something like that. And he will always, like the dogs, drop a max ammo. So try and be um, clever with your bullets. Um, uh, hopefully, you will have a Winter's Fury because it makes it a lot easier if you have a Winter's Fury because you can either slow them down by freezing them or you can completely obliterate them by um, turning them into crystal ice or whatever it's called and they just um, end up exploding so yeah um, hope you enjoyed the strategy this is the last part um, this will work until the later rounds um, I have a friend who actually has already used this and got quite high on the leaderboard I mean not the leaderboard but got quite high in the game I think he got to level around uh, 110, something like that. I can't remember what it, whatever he said. But yeah, it's very easy to do if you want to give yourself um, the challenge of doing it. And what I want you to do, oh, actually, I'm going to set you a lot of challenges. Um, I want you to all try it and then take a picture of the round that you got to using this strategy so that I can put a little bit of a comp 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 compilation together just to show that other people that this strategy works. So, um, yeah, please do that. Please send me in a picture. Um, try and make it a good quality picture I'm not sure if you can use data mode if I'm being honest, I don't think you can but yeah, send me a picture and I'll get it uploaded to you in a compilation with other people so, so yeah, cheers, thank you, bye
Yes, time to resupply. Hands off the Mac, Jack. Again is zero. <laughs> I made the goop into goop. Hands off the Mac, Jack. All out. So be it. <laughs> 